Hello guys, welcome back to Patrick TV GH. This is your savings data, Mr. Patrick Banabankwa, coming your way with another edition on this channel. Um, a week ago, we met and discussed investment opportunities available to Ghanaians. Um, today, I'm happy to say that I have in the studio um, a rep from Pensions Alliance Trust to walk us through their products and how best that solves the investment opportunities we discussed a week ago. So I'm here with um, Nelly Esmi Asma, an investment analyst with Pensions Alliance Trust, who's going to, first of all, talk to us about who Pension Alliance Trust is, um, their leadership, and the product that they have for you and I. I believe that's going to be an interesting session, so you shouldn't miss any bit of this particular episode. Um, Nelly, you are welcome to Patrick TV GH. Thank you very much, Patrick. How is the family? By grace, everyone is fine. Mm, every, everything is well. So far, so good. Right? Comfortable here? Very comfortable. Okay, so now let's zoom. You're coming from Pensions Alliance Trust. I'm sure someone will be asking who are Pensions Alliance Trust, even though there have been a series of sessions on this channel where we introduce Pensions Alliance Trust. So who are uh, the people that form Pensions Alliance Trust and what do you do? Okay, so Pensions Alliance Trust is a private trustee. Um, I would like to say that we are one of the first private trustees to be set up in Ghana okay. when the Act 766 that instituted a law where um, besides SNIT, other private companies can handle their pensions for various companies. So um, we were one of the first to be set up. And um, ever since 2010, we've been in active service in the pensions industry. Wow. So basically... What we do is that, um, just like most trustees, we handle the tier two, that's the occupational pensions trust that most companies do, most private trustees do. We handle um, the tier three, that's voluntary pensions contributions. And then we have the personal pensions and the informal sector pensions as well. So um, I'd like to state that our CEO is Mr. Ras Boating. I'm okay. sure many of your viewers would yeah, know yeah, him yeah. from SNIT, SNIT yeah. as one of the directors of SNIT. And with NHI, he was the first C CEO of NHI. So wow. yes, he's well vexed and experienced in this industry. So you can imagine that we are one of the best trustees exactly. you can get in Ghana. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so you said you've been in operation since 2010. Yes. And I'm sure you have a lot of clients in terms of people that have trust in your product. Yes. And you mentioned that you, you service tier two, tier three. I'm sure someone may be asking, what exactly is tier two, tier three? So can you just give us a, a summary of what tier two and tier three means? So from the introduction of the Act 766, initially the contributions that were being made to SNIT was 17.5 of your basic salary. Okay. That's what went into your pensions contribution. But the introduction of the Act 766 introduced the private trustees where we, the government wanted to increase the amount that was saved for one for pension. Okay. So what happened is that instead of 17.5, it was increased to 18.5%. Okay. Now, SNIT actually handles 13.5% of the contribution. Okay. Whereas the private trustee, so 5% of your basic salary is paid by your employer. So okay. it's remitted by your employer to a private trustee company. So then when you go on retirement, that 5% that is being saved plus the interest that has accrued on your money is what is paid to you as a lump sum. Okay. So that's basically for the tier two. So that one is mandatory, just like SNET is. Okay. So you are mandated by law to make payments. Your employer is mandated to remit on your behalf. Okay. Now for the tier three, that is where we go to the voluntary side of the contribution. We have two basic aspects to it. The first aspect is where... Um, an employer can remit on your behalf to for your personal pension. So they want to give additional um, savings for your retirement. Okay. So maybe you can, some employers go on an agreement where they can remit, maybe if I do 5% for you, you the employer to the employee, 5% employee. will come from your salary. Sometimes too, some employers go as far as actually contributing all for them, their employee because they want to add their benefits. Okay. Then we have the aspect where it's the... So for the first two that I mentioned, that's the tier two and the tier three, those are pre-tax. 
So those amounts are taken from your salaries before the tax bit is taken out. Okay. And then you are paid the net. Okay. But then there's another portion that is the personal pension. For the personal pension, when your contribution or your salary is paid to you... That's your net. Yes, your net is received into your account. You can decide that, okay, besides the tier two, besides the SNIT that I do, even if my employer does a tier three for me, I still want to contribute more to my pension. Okay. And then that is when people come into after their tax and then the net is received, then they make contributions. So you, it's a voluntary thing. You decide what you want to contribute. Okay, so I'm sure the voluntary side is where Pension Alliance Trust comes in. You have to that that will serve that purpose. What are the yes. products that serve that purpose of personal and voluntary uh, um, payment or retirement plan? Okay, so we have um, two major packages. We have the Wealth Builder and we have Pen Adopt. Okay. So for the Wealth Builder, that is the post-tax contribution, when your salary is paid to you post-tax. Now you as an individual can sit back, you can come to talk to our advisors in the company. We can sit down, let's say at the end of your, maybe you have 10 years to go on pension or five years. You want to have a certain amount in your account as at like, the time you go on retirement. So what happens is that- Like I want to have one million in my account. Exactly. Uh -huh. So we can sit back, do the computation that maybe every month, if you contribute 10% per, um, of your net, net, or maybe if you contribute 100 CDs every month into the Wealth Builder account, given the rates that we offer, I mean, which are the best on the market as well. Yeah. So <laughs> the rates that we offer, you can get within that 10 year space, you'll be able to get the 100 million or the 10 million that you are looking for to have in your account assets. Okay. pension um, as you as a retirement time so that's basically with our wealth builder okay. we have advisors that help you and now uh, we'll do our investments such that by the time you go on retirement with your contribution and the interest that will accrue to you you'd be able to get the amount that you have envisions to have as a retirement okay so if if i understood you well so the wealth builder is like um i'll, I'll come to pension alliance trust i have a target in, my, in mind when I want to, I go on retirement. Yeah. So then based on the target I have in mind, we'll sit down to know how much I need to be contributing every month yeah. to be able to hit that target exactly. based on the interest rate that you're offering. Yes. That's the wealth builder. Yes, that's the I'm world. sure if you, viewers remember that there has been a discussion on this particular subject matter on public TV. So the solution is here. Yeah. Pensions Alliance Trust. What's the second one? Pen Adopt. Pen Adopt. So you see, we looked at the two dimensions of retirement. You are building your wealth, but when you go on retirement, your expenditure doesn't reduce. So there are some people that they, are, they have kids in school as at the time they go on retirement, aging parents to take care of, family members still come to your, to your house to collect money and stuff. So, I mean, everybody can relate to this. So what happens is that we looked at the portion of the, besides the world builder, we created a package called Pen Adopt where you can contribute on behalf of, or you can adopt, maybe it, be it your children, your parents. So you contribute as you are working actively, you can contribute on their behalf. That okay, so this account is for my mother, but I am making payments into that account. So in case of any medical emergency, I do not have to go to my world builder that I have saved for myself. I come to my pen adopt account, I come and withdraw from it to cater for that cost. So my wealth is still secure. I still keep, then I have money aside to cater for my mother. Okay. If you have kids in school, you want to save for them, maybe you know that by the time you go on retirement, they'll be in university. Okay. Um, you don't want to look at, use your pension funds to handle university. Pension pay. is for chilling. Right? It's for chilling. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> you can't use that money to come and do other stuff. So. Okay. That is why we've created this pen adopt okay. where you can also contribute for your child. You can, there are terms and conditions. You can say that she cannot have, maybe your daughter cannot have access to this fund till maybe she's 18. 18 okay. So even in case you pass on, the terms are still there. The interest is still accru like accruing for the child. Okay. So by the time the child turns 18, there's enough money there to be able to cater for the school, and that one, but that one, we can also sit down to agree that, okay, 
university. I'm estimating this amount. My mother's health. I want to have this account for my mother. Mm -hmm. Maybe an aging uncle that you have been supporting. You want to contribute on their behalf so that one day when they come to your house and you, you know that no, I'm not touching my chilling money. I am going for the savings, the money that I have saved on their behalf. So okay. that is the pen adopt. Okay. You choose, it's a legacy fund. So you choose to adopt your child, your parent, any family member, and you contribute on their behalf. And, and can a, a contributor liquidate it at any point in time? Okay, so for the pen adopt, you can actually make withdrawals on the fund. What happens is that though it is vested in your child or your parent, and um, it's you can have access to the fund in case of an emergency, but then we the the limit is up to three years, unless there's an emergency that maybe you might need it prior to the three years. But then we like to encourage that you keep the funds till three years. That is when you get to see the returns on the investment that you have made. Okay. So after three years, it starts to jump in high volume. So we like to encourage people to keep their funds till three years okay. before you can start making withdrawals on that account. Okay, so both the uh, wealth builder and the pen adopt, is a contribution a monthly contribution or a yearly contribution or a quarterly contribution? As often as you can do it. Some people can do daily, some decide to do monthly, some can do bulk sum of monies intermittently. How best it suits you, that's what you can do. So all the things that we've been discussing seem to be targeted as the formal sector. What about the informal sector? So I'm at the market, I have my tabletop business. What, what's in for me? What do you have for me? So we have a package for the informal sector as well. Okay. And that is what we call Enidaso. 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 Okay. Every account will understand Enidaso. Okay. So for the informal sector, the contributions vary from the formal sector. You know, the formal sector, we have the mandatory bits, but this is voluntary, totally voluntary. Now, what happens is that when the contributions come to us as Pensions Alliance, it is put in, we have two separate accounts. So we have the savings and then the retirement account. So for the savings bit, what happens is that if you are at Abu Sokain, you are a spare parts dealer, okay. you've contributed over a certain period, now you are in need of cash to pump back into your business or you are in dire need, what we'll do is that you can take funds from the savings portion. Okay. Yes. Then for the retirement bit, when you go on retirement, so it is a two-way thing. It is reinvestment and then protection for your future. Okay. So then you have money when you go on retirement and you have money too you can fall back on when you are in dire need of cash to pump into your business or to handle any emergency that you are facing. So for the Enidaso as well, we like to encourage long-term investments. So, I mean, it's a usual thing for most investors. Like when you start early, they like to run back to you. Oh, I have money here. I want to. But you don't get to see the impact of the returns on your investment if you keep redrawing. Okay. Yeah. So if you keep the funds for, you can even do it. Let me set my mind on it. That five years, I'm not coming to look at this fund. By the time you get to the five year period, you would have enough money to pump back into yeah. your business. Okay. So that's what we have for the informal sector. The that's so package. That's how it runs. We have the savings and retirement. You can withdraw from the savings, retirement, only when you go on retirement. Okay, so I mean, on, on this channel, one of the areas that we focus on is just not the, the formal sector, as I said, but the informal sector. And you know, the informal sector, they come in and they are intimidated by the suit and the coat of the, the uh, um, sales agents who are going to attend to them. How down to earth is pension analysis trust in terms of meeting the needs of some of these people we are referring to? Do you guys speak the local language or is always English, bro? Oh, show me, I'm a show me t shirt. <laughs> Informal sector for me, you're quiet and cabro for beer. Okay. We can't cry, you can't cry at all. Catchy, you can't cry at all. You can't fancy, you can't fancy at all. And what we do is that we have people, um, we have agents that are various at various points. So if you go to Abu Sokai, we have reps of Pensions Alliance Trust that come. So even at your convenience, if you cannot come to our office, we have people that can come to your place. Whenever you want to make contribution, you just prompt us that, oh, in the MPSMA, I make contribution. 
and the Pakwana bar. But, but you see, on, on the same front, I want you to help me with something. The complaint is that when the, you guys come to them for startup, you, you come in three. Like what I'm saying, <laughs> when they need their money and they come to your office, then you turn the whole discussion to Brofo <laughs> and you get them confused and they go back, they don't get what, what, what they really wanted. Oh, Pensions Alliance Trust, we don't do that. You know, because of the, um, the mixture of the group of people that we handle, you have the formal sector coming in, you have the informal sector coming in. Okay. So our uh, reps, all the people that work in our company are well vexed. I'm a fancy, so my tree may not be good, but I speak good fancy. Okay. My English to on point. <laughs> <laughs> yes. True. And then we have people who speak Ghana. So if it happens, we've had situations where, or maybe someone is speaking Ghana. I do not understand the Ghana. I have colleagues that speak Ghana. Then they would pick the call, speak Ghana, okay. sort out your issue. So we are, we are well-rounded. Okay. You would walk into our office. Yes, maybe in the, initially you walk in, we we'll would greet you in English. Then... Because uh, that'll be Yanka tree. Then everybody knows that, okay, this is the line you want Marina. to talk. Then we t we take your line. As comfortable as you want to be, we'll make that. Yeah, I think um, last year you guys launched what we call a pen show. What is that? Yes, pen show. Yes, pen show. So we wanted to find a way to reward our clients okay. for their constant contribution to us for keeping business with us. So we introduced the pen show with Alliance Insurance. So it's a co-partner thing. So for the pension, it's a benefit package for those that contribute to our tier three. So that is the wealth builder, the personal pension, and um, for the ones that employers can remit on your behalf for voluntary contributions. So it's basically the voluntary contributions bit. Okay. So the pen adopts, and then for they need us to the informal sector okay. as well. So what we've um, the arrangements we've done with Alliance, you know, usually when people go for insurance, you have to pay to get a benefit. But we as Pensions Alliance Trust, we have taken it upon ourselves to pay for you, our contributors. So we make the payment to Alliance Insurance and they offer the benefits the benefit, to you. So okay. the benefits that you have is a life insurance package. Okay. Yes, so we have the life insurance we have hospitalization. So if you go to the hospital and maybe you are asked to stay for some number of days, the um, insurance package covers that. Okay. And then we have disability. In case you are working and something should happen, you are unable to continue working anymore. So that's package too. The insurance company would cover you okay. when it comes to that. So it's just something that we have introduced to reward all our clients. So if you want to get the benefits, come see us and you'll be rewarded as well. Are you cool? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so viewers, I believe you have enjoyed our session on the um, Pensions Alliance Trust. If you know about them now, you know their product. Um, their numbers will be rolling down the screen. So kindly call them, go to their offices. They can come to your office. Let's start some business discussion. Let's start planning for the future. The future can just be tomorrow. Don't uh, shelve that discussion to later date the later date may not come and you will not be alive at that later date you have beneficiaries and people who are looking up to you prepare the future for them i always say that if you are working when you die people should be happy that you are dead they should not be sad because of the plans that you've made for them if you have enjoyed our session this day kindly go to our youtube channel kindly subscribe on patrick tv gh follow us on all social media platforms at patrick tv gh and we'll come your way next week with another educative session on this channel God bless you.